Hi friends, Nathan here, and today we're talking about two pieces of software that make my life so much easier when I'm working on a new guitar arrangement. Uh, now, if you're not using these programs throughout the entire arranging process, you're doing yourself a huge disservice and missing out on some incredibly helpful tools. Now, I'm not getting paid to endorse these products in any way. These are just tools that I genuinely love and use for every single one of my arrangements. And if they can help you in your own arrangements the way they've helped me, I call that a win. Before we begin, I'd like to start a conversation. So if you could scroll down real quick and leave me a comment telling me your favorite software or piece of gear that you use in your guitar arranging process or your practice sessions, uh, other than your guitar, of course. And while you're down there, if you could hit that like button because that helps out a ton in the old YouTube algorithm. The software I'm talking about today falls into two categories music notation and audio editing. So let's jump in right away and talk about the notation software. I use Guitar Pro 7 to notate the tabs and sheet music for every single one of my arrangements. That's the obvious benefit of using notation software to have a digital or physical copy of your arrangement in the form of tabs and sheet music that you can then reference for personal use or distribute. But what I really want to talk about are the less obvious benefits that actually help you during the arranging process itself. Some people like to wait until they finish their entire arrangement before going back and notating it all. Um, and some people don't notate at all. Uh, but personally, I like to notate as I go. And there are a few reasons for this that really highlight the benefits of using a program like Guitar Pro throughout the entire arranging process. First of all, it impacts my entire attitude when approaching an arrangement. Notating as I go brings a level of seriousness and focus to my process. So when I figure out exactly what I wanna play for a section that I'm working on and I notate that out in Guitar Pro, it just feels final. It forces me to keep moving forward instead of mindlessly noodling and never committing to exactly how I wanna play that section. So commit, notate, and move on. That's how arrangements actually get finished. It's also really satisfying to literally see visual progress on my arrangement. Moving along from measure to measure, seeing that page fill up, motivates me and keeps me on task knowing that I'm getting closer to a finished product. The whole arranging process honestly just feels too casual and non-committal if I'm not notating as I go. With a program like Guitar Pro, I really like that I can check my work at any time by having it play the notated audio back to me. Uh, now, of course, it's just cheesy MIDI audio, um, but honestly, some of the classical guitar sounds in Guitar Pro 7 are pretty decent. Um, and it's all I need to be able to check and, and make sure all the rhythms and notes sound correct and to just listen and see if I genuinely like the way everything sounds when it's played back to me. It's just nice to be able to listen to your arrangement being played back to you smoothly for some immediate feedback without worrying about butchering it yourself trying to play it when you haven't really had a chance to practice it yet. Another benefit of notating your arrangement as you go is that it keeps you honest with your rhythm. With Guitar Pro, if you have too many or too few beats in a measure, the measure will turn red if you try to move on to the next measure. Sometimes I can tell whether or not somebody's notated their arrangement just by hearing them play it because their rhythm tends to be a lot more ambiguous um, usually this means that they've got these measures that drag on for too long with unnecessary extra beats. Now, if your rhythm is literally staring you in the face, this is a lot less likely to happen. Finally, as an added bonus, when you finish notating your arrangement, Guitar Pro immediately becomes a powerful practice tool. One of my favorite features is the Speed Builder tool. I can loop the section that I'm practicing and set it to progressively speed up from, let's say, 50% speed to 100% in as small of increments as I like. So I can set it to increase speed by as little as 1% every time the section repeats. So this helps build speed slowly and gradually so you can keep your playing clean and accurate. Now, Guitar Pro does have a price tag of about $70, although as I'm shooting this video right now, it looks like it's on sale for 56. 
Uh, personally, I feel like that price point is worth it for the smooth layout and workflow and all the features that Guitar Pro offers. They do offer a 30 day free trial though, so you can try it for yourself and see what you think. If you're looking for free notation software, MuseScore is an excellent option. I've spoken with several guitarists in our community who use MuseScore exclusively for their arrangements and they highly recommend it. Uh, as free software, it does have some limitations when compared to a program like Guitar Pro, but the core functions that you need, being able to notate your arrangement with playback options, are all there. Now let's look at the piece of audio editing software that I use throughout my arranging process. Um, the two elements of audio editing that we're talking about are just tempo and pitch adjustments. Uh, so when I'm listening to the original audio of the song that I'm arranging, I want to be able to slow that audio down so I can more clearly isolate and identify the notes and the chords that I need to play. I also need the ability to adjust the pitch of the audio in case I want to change the key of the original song into a key that fits the guitar better for my arrangement. Uh, now for both of these features, I use a program called Capo. Uh, which unfortunately is only available on Mac and iOS devices, but we'll talk about a Windows alternative in a minute. When I launch Capo, I import the MP3 of the original song I'm arranging. Uh, now for this video, I'm just gonna use the audio from one of my arrangements because, uh, you know, copyright and all. Um, but one of the things I love about Capo is that the layout is just so clean and simple. Uh, when the audio loads up, there are four main elements of the interface that we're looking at. Uh, up top, it shows you the waveform for the audio. In the middle, we have a spectrogram that literally shows you the individual pitches that the app detects from the audio. So if you're struggling to identify specific notes by ear, you can hover over these notes and uh, it will identify them over on the left-hand side of the app. Uh, you can even click on them and it'll play that pitch back to you. Now this isn't always 100% accurate, so you should always take it with a grain of salt, but it's definitely a helpful reference if your ear is struggling. Uh, now below the spectrogram, Capo also tries to give you the chords that it's analyzing and hearing in the audio at any given time. Uh, again, this can definitely be hit or miss, but there are times when it is accurate, uh, especially in simpler songs with a, a strong chordal structure. Now finally, at the bottom here, we have all our playback features. Uh, among other things, this is where I can change the, the speed and pitch of the audio. Uh, so if I select speed, I can easily slow down the audio in real time with the slider. All right, for the pitch adjustment I'm looking for, I select key and I can now raise or lower the pitch by half step with the slider. Again, all in real time. Ear training is one of the most important elements of making your own arrangements and figuring out the notes that you're hearing in a song sometimes can be really challenging, especially if you haven't really developed your musical ear yet. And so having a software like this that helps you through the process by slowing things down and, and changing keys for you can really be a lifesaver. Capo is available to purchase through the App Store for $25 per year. For me, the equivalent of $2 a month is totally worth it for the functionality here. Uh, but again, they offer a free trial so you can check it out for yourself. The Windows equivalent software I would recommend, which is also available on Mac should you prefer it, is Amazing Slow Downer, um, which by the way, minus 20 points for that name. <laughs> Come on, Amazing Slow Downer. We couldn't do any better than that. But you know, to be fair, it gets right to the point. That's what we need and that's what it does. I'm not crazy about the interface compared to Capo. Uh, navigating to specific points in the recording is trickier without the visual reference of the waveform but the functionality is there. So when the speed down is simple and straightforward with the speed slider, and we can easily raise and lower the pitch by half step with the pitch slider. You're gonna drop 50 bucks for this guy, but it is a one-time purchase compared to the annual subscription for Capo. Now I had a hard time finding a free alternative for you guys that didn't lock any of the necessary features behind a paywall. Um, so I asked some of you in the Beyond the Guitar community what software you've used 
that slows down audio and changes pitch. And a lot of you recommended the free recording and editing software Audacity. Audacity is actually a digital audio workstation used to record and edit your own audio. So there's really a lot of great functionality in it that goes beyond the scope of this video. Uh, but it's the only free multi-platform option that I found that includes all the necessary features of Capo and Amazing Slow Downer. Since speed and pitch manipulation isn't the primary purpose of the software, figuring it out isn't quite as intuitive, uh, but you need to import your audio, select it within the timeline, go to Effect, and then select Change Pitch. From here, you can select how many semitones or half steps uh, you'd like to raise or lower the pitch by. Now, my biggest complaint here is that with every change you make, whether speed or pitch, the audio has to re-render, which can sometimes take a few seconds, uh, which obviously it isn't a huge deal, uh, especially for free software, but comparing it to Capo and Amazing Slowdowner, which both make the changes instantly in real time, this can slow down your workflow. Uh, so to change the playback speed, make sure you select Change Tempo, in the effect drop down rather than speed. Uh, the speed effect will change the playback speed, but the pitch will change based on the speed, which we obviously don't want. And it doesn't matter whether you go with the free or the paid options. I just want you to start incorporating these tools into your arranging process. And I hope that they help you as immensely as they've helped me every single day. Speaking of helping you, I have a free training that covers one of the most important concepts that you need to understand if you want to create your own classical or fingerstyle guitar arrangements. It's called Fretboard Freedom and it'll teach you how to find and play chords anywhere on the fretboard, which is absolutely necessary uh, for guitar arrangements because they force you to travel all over the neck. I've included a link to the training down below. Again, it is totally free as a gift to you as you begin or wanna grow in your ability to arrange your favorite songs on guitar. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button to let me know and so more people can see it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on so you never miss future videos. Uh, but as always, much love and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.